I just bought a painting that I've been looking for for a while and I want to show it to you. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Pandy here. I just bought this painting, and as you might be able to tell, this guy is Steve Jobs. It's kind of that iconic image that is on the Steve Jobs book by Walter Isaacson, I believe. You know, kind of the that look. And I really actually wanted this particular painting. Now you can buy paintings of Steve Jobs all over, but this one is actually done by an artist named Eric Wall. And what's interesting about Eric Wall is that he's kind of a graffiti artist, street artist turned public speaker, motivational speaker. So he actually kind of talks to people at conventions and conferences. And I actually saw him a number of years ago. And the thing that he does is he integrates the paintings into his speeches. So he will do some paintings live and that's why they're kind of quick. He does them with brushes, his hands. He does them on these black canvases. Now, interesting story about it is the conference that I went to, he did the paintings and then they auctioned them off in a silent auction at the conference and of course, all the big wigs, the rich people, they bid lots of money and the price is unaffordable. And I walked away from that conference without an Eric Wall painting because they were just kind of unaffordable. And that's actually the brilliance of his little program is that most of the paintings like this that can be done in 10 minutes or so, you know, probably wouldn't garner a lot of money, but the way he packages them in his presentations, they do pretty well. And then he doesn't sell paintings outside of those conferences. So he only paints them for that and that kind of limits the quantity of paintings that are available. Now he has done a number of these, and in fact, all the paintings that he does, he does them in quantity. So if he goes to a conference and does the Statue of Liberty or Albert Einstein is a popular one that he does, you know, there are a fair amount of those out there and they don't go for a ton of money, but they do command like a thousand bucks or 1500 bucks. And so the Steve Jobs ones are a little more rare as far as I can tell, or people aren't selling them and they don't come up for auction or for sale very often. And I was lucky to grab this one. Now this one is framed. And as you can see, it's about four feet tall by about three feet wide. So it's a pretty big painting. And what I love about it is that, you know, he will do some of these just like this, but then he will also do the Steve Jobs ones upside down. He also does the Albert Einstein ones a little bit like that. And then he kind of puts them together and I think they look pretty good. Now, because he kind of does these really quickly at conferences, sometimes the paintings will be wildly different, you know, so uh, sometimes the proportions are different. Sometimes they're a little sloppier. Sometimes they're a little bit more detailed, whatever. And it just really depends on kind of what mood he's in at the time. Now, one of the things that I want to do is spin around here is I've actually got hanging up here a Mickey Mouse by Eric Wall. I bought this years ago and it was pretty cool because he did one of these speaking gigs at Disney and then did a few of these Mickeys. Now, it's my understanding there are about four or five of these and I don't see these coming up for sale very often. And so when I found this one, I actually picked this one up and I've always been looking for the Steve Jobs one because I'm a big fan of Steve Jobs. And now that I have this connection, you know, heart to heart connection with Eric Wall, I thought it'd be cool to have one by him as well as kind of this iconic business leader that was really inspiring to me as a kid. So now I have a Steve Jobs, Eric Wall painting, as you can see there, just big, big strokes. There isn't a lot of detail, but obviously in kind of that graffiti street art format, you can obviously tell who it is. So looking to put this up on my wall. I'm pretty excited that I was able to grab one. Like I said, if you want one, keep your eye out. You know, they might go up for sale on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, eBay, those types of things, but they don't come around really, really often. So just wanted to share this with you. I'm pretty excited about it, but you might see it hanging up on my wall in some of my live streams in the future. That's it. Hey, Eric Wall also has a book. If you want to pick that up, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Brown Panda, out.